This is the Sound Freak Sound Spot 2 SFQ18. When I test a Bluetooth speaker, I push it to its limits. And I did that with the Sound Spot 2 as well. But that's really kind of missing the point. The Sound Spot 2 has a minimalist design. The white body is accented with the natural bamboo finish. Most Bluetooth speakers share a similar and abysmal control scheme, but not the SoundSpot 2. The controls for the SoundSpot 2 are easily identified and intuitive. The front of the speaker is completely occupied by the full range driver. In the rear, we have a large passive radiator and the charging port. One nice feature of the SoundSpot 2 is that you can use the internal battery as a power bank to charge external devices. Behind this rubber access panel, we have a U-Drive slot and a 3.5mm auxiliary input. Officially, the U-Drive only supports capacities up to 64GB, but I successfully used a 128GB U-Drive with no problems whatsoever. It only supports formats of MP3 and WAV. On the other side, they have what they call an anchor point. You could attach a strap to that or perhaps a carabiner, but they don't include either one of those. The SoundSpot 2 has this massive front driver and a large passive radiator in the rear, so why wouldn't I push the speaker to the limit? Well, it's not really what it's for. Sure, you can listen to music on this speaker, but honestly, it's not that loud. And yeah, it's got a big passive radiator in the rear, but the bass just isn't that thumpy. But this is not a party speaker. See this button here? It allows you to select between seven high quality nature sounds. Well, they call them nature sounds, but not all of them are nature. You have like birds and forest and ocean and wind, but then they have other non naturey things like urban and bells and chimes. But the one sound they don't have that I would really have liked is a crackling fire or, oh, uh, and a uh, babbling brook is another one that's, uh, that I enjoy. But those, those are not on here, but the ones that are on here are very good. There is no RGB lighting system in the traditional sense of the word, but you can use this button to select mood lighting. You choose the intensity or breathing mode. And I suppose you could use this for like breathing exercises, meditation, yoga, that kind of a thing. The purpose of this speaker isn't to rock the house. It is more of a bedside speaker or a meditation speaker. This speaker is for quiet moments. If you want to get the richest sound from this speaker, positioning is critical. Put this in a corner or near a wall where the natural acoustics of the room can pick up and enhance the bass. Another feature that makes this ideal for relaxation is the sleep timer. You access it through this moon button and you can choose between 30, 60 and 120 minutes. They say you can expect 10 hours of playback on the battery. Now this will be depleted faster if you are using this as a power bank or are listening at high volume. I don't recommend listening at high volume. It just doesn't sound that good. At moderate volume is where it shines. You will not distort the bass at high volume, but it's the treble that sounds harsh. This does support hands-free calling and it is excellent. The person I called said that she didn't even know I was using a speaker. The SoundSpot 2 does support TWS mode, that's true wireless stereo, where you can wirelessly connect two identical speakers together in a left and right channel fashion. And that will double the power, but I don't really recommend that because it's only good for the Bluetooth signal. So if you are using the nature sounds or the line in or the U drive, none of that'll work. <laughs> I just, there are better options if that's what you're going for. The speaker is certified IPX4 water resistant. IPX4 is barely water resistant, so I just wouldn't keep this around water. How do I rate the Soundfreak SoundSpot 2? Well, technically this is a Bluetooth speaker, but I don't think it really competes in that arena. I see this competing more in the arena of sound machines, relaxation devices, and this does have the finest sound effects for a sound machine I have ever heard. So in that category, in that category alone, I give this a five out of five star rating. 
if you need this as a Bluetooth speaker, I would just look elsewhere. There, there are better options for Bluetooth speakers. But for sound machines, yeah, this is the machine for you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.